Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Tinvas. In this session, we will discuss how to insert an element into array, right? How to insert a single element and how to insert all the elements of one array into another array. So, these two discussions. We are declaring one array int arr. Sir, what is the size? And see, here it is a, a static memory allocation only, a fixed memory allocation, right? If you want to increase or decrease the size of array, we should go for a dynamic memory allocation concept that we will see soon. But here it is array, so first declaration is a 50. Sir, here we are using 50, right? So, is it necessary to store all the 50 elements into array? No, not required. We just reserve only 50 memory locations. So, once again we are asking the end user how many elements you want to work with. So, once again we are asking the size, but maximum number of elements so we can take into this array is called a 50. So, here now to read the size I am declaring one more variable n. So, we are asking printf enter size of array, enter size of array, but remember the maximum number of elements that, that is nothing but the maximum size we can mention that is a 50 because the reserved space is a 50 only. Uh, suppose end user input is a 5, so we are working with only 5 elements. Sir, remaining 45 memory locations, so we cannot do anything, waste of memory as of now. The problem we can resolve in a dynamic memory allocation concept that we will see later. Okay. So, we are reading scanf percentage d into n we are reading into n and next we are asking enter those many elements into array. How many elements depends on the size the end user inputs enter Suppose n value is a 5, 5 elements, enter 5 elements, here we are writing n. In place of percentage d, the n value will go and print. So, enter 5 elements, suppose if end user input is a 7, enter 7 elements like that. Sir, how to read n elements into array? already we discussed processing array elements is possible only with the help of iterators nothing but loops. We are repeating loop i value starts with a 0, so declare the i value also i is less than n not 50 very very important. If you write 50 here 50 times it will repeat and 50 elements you should input that is not possible only n elements less than n i plus plus we are reading scan f every time one element we are reading into address of a r r of i so reading is over and next we are asking enter element to be inserted here print f enter element to insert new element right then they will enter the new element to insert that in at a specified memory location nothing but at a specified array location scan f percentage d that we are collecting into key that we are collecting into key so key variable also i am declaring key element. So, here it is we already inserted that what element we want to insert. Now, where we have to insert the location also you should specify. So, next one we are asking printf enter location to insert. So, that we are collecting scanf percentage d into address of location. So, we are collecting into a variable LOC. 
So, first we are reading elements into array and next we are reading enter the new element to insert and next enter a location to insert. So, what we have to insert, where we have to insert, into which array we are inserting all the three. So, reading completed. Now, a concentrate on logic, how to write the logic. Suppose, this is array, n value consider 6. So, index is a 0 to 5. 0 to 5 and here it is array is pointing to this location base address of course, we know that. So, now just consider the key element is a, a new element that we want to insert is a 100 and location is a 2 consider. The element a new element that we want to insert is a 100 and location is a 2. Sir, what are the elements of array? Any elements you can give you can input. For example, elements are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now, the new element 100 I want to insert into this location 2. Sir, into the location 2 already write one element is there that is a 30. So, directly we cannot insert because if you insert the value directly right, we lost the value 30. So, we should shift all the elements. So, here we should shift all the elements by one location. By one location, we should shift all these elements. 60, we should move to here from fifth location to sixth location. 50, we should move to here, 40 to here. 30 to here and 31 copy will be present up to here only right. So, that is nothing but 5 means n minus 1 from n minus 1 to second is nothing but a location. What are the elements we should shift right all the elements from n minus 1 index number to location index number. Number of elements will be present. So, we are using one for loop. I value starts with a n minus 1. I is greater than or equals to because a decreasing order 5, 4, 3, 2. Greater than or equals to location i minus minus. i minus minus. So, here first i value starts with a n minus 1, n minus 1 is a 5, 5 is greater than or equals to what is the location 2, location is a 2, condition true the control move inside, fifth location element we should move to sixth location, 5 means what i, so ith location element a r r of i value will be stored into sixth location. So, nothing but a r r of i plus 1, a r r of i plus 1. So, we are shifting right fifth location element into i plus 1 means what 5 plus 1 6. So, it will move. In the next iteration i minus minus i value become 4, yes condition true fourth location element will move to fifth location. Next, i value decrease, it will become 3. Third location element will move to fourth location. So, next i value 2. A second location element will move to third location. Next, i value become 1. 1 is greater than or equals to 2, condition false. So, then for loop will terminate. So, shifting completed. Next, the element key element, a key element, key means what is a 100, we are inserting into this location, so that 30 will be replaced with the 100. How can we store LOC, location is nothing but a 2, it is a second location. So, that key element we are storing into ARR of LOC, LOC is a 2. 
right into a r r of 2 into the second location we are storing 100. So, that 100 will go and store into this location. So, this is this is element insertion into array two things we have to perform using one for loop first we need to shift all the elements from last location that is nothing but from n minus 1 to a location right that is input location. Once the shifting has been completed using a for loop, so directly we can insert the value key value into ARR of location. This is inserting an element into array. Okay. So, now we will discuss how to insert all the elements of one array into another array. And see how to insert all the elements of one array into another array. Right, see. So, now first we are taking one array. So, remember now we have to read two arrays. This is first array. Just consider the size of first array we are reading into variable m and the size is a 6 consider. Index starts with a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 index and elements 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and here it is uh, array name is a, a so that it is pointing to this block of course by holding the address. So, first array 1 is a ready now I want to read second array elements this is a second array just consider second array size is a 3 only you can take any size but of course first you have to fix the size either 100 200 300 any size you can take right here it is we are taking only 3 so that index is a 0 to less than 3 that is 2 and here it is array variable is a b name of array is b right what are the elements now we are asking right insert the elements into array so the input for example 100 200 300 100 200 and 300 now so we need to ask where we have to insert the elements of one array so we need to insert into another array from which location right the location we need to ask here it is printf enter location to insert location to insert we are just reading that location location suppose a location is a 2 consider from the second location I want to insert how to insert means in the previous example we are inserting only one element so all the elements we are shifting by one location only but now we have to insert n number of elements not 3 do not use a hard coding try to write the logics using variables only so that that will work anywhere. Okay. So, here it is we need to insert n elements into array a. So, every element so must be shifted by n number of locations n number of locations see now the array size will grow like this array size. 6, 7, 8 locations and remaining because n value is a 3. So, every element is a shifted by 3 locations. 60, fifth location element will come to 5 plus 3, nothing but 5 plus n, 8. So, 60 will come to here, 50, 40, all the 3 elements and 30 will move to here and remaining up to location only from m minus 1 to m value 6, 6 minus 1, 5 to location from m minus 1 to location all the elements we should shift right so by n locations n value is a 3 and remaining same 50, 40, 30. Sir, how to shift the elements? Very simple. So, take one loop i value starts with m minus 1 
i is greater than or equals to location i minus minus same previous logic only. Now, here it is a of i a of i because i value starts with m minus 1 m value is a 5 right I mean right m value is a 6 6 minus 1 is a 5. So, i value is a 5. So, fifth location element will be stored into i plus how many locations you have to shift n locations you have to shift. So, i plus n i plus n. So, first one 5 is greater than or equals to 2. So, a of 5 will be stored into a of 5 plus 3 8th location shifted. Next i minus minus same story i value become 4 fourth location element 4 plus 3 7 next i value 3 3 plus 3 6 next i value 2 2 plus 3 5 next whenever i value 1 1 is greater than or equals to 2 condition false. So, shifting completed now insertion sir how to insert we are not inserting a single element again we are inserting an array suppose here it is 3 is there ok suppose 300 is there 300 times 300 statements we cannot write so use the for loop once again here one more for loop how many elements i value starts with 0 to n number of elements we should insert n value is a 3. So, n elements 0, 1, 2 n elements we should insert. So, first i value 0, 0 is less than 3 condition true. Condition true how to insert b of 0 nothing but b of i, i value starts with a 0. b of 0 location element nothing but 100. So, we are storing into this one, this is nothing but a location, location plus i value because i value 0, right location is a 2, 2 plus 0 is a 2 only. Next location plus 1, location plus 1, i means what i value 1, location value 2, 2 plus 1 is a 3, third location. Next one, here it is a location plus i is nothing but 4 because i value is a 2 location value is a 2 2 plus 2 4. So, here so we are writing into a of location plus i b of 0 value will be stored into a of location is a 2 2 plus 0 is a 2 only. So, that element 100 will be inserted here next i value increases i value 1. 1 plus location, location value 2, 1 plus 2, 3. So, 200 will be stored into this location. Next, 300 will be stored into this location. Whenever i value 3, 3 is less than 3 condition, false. This is insertion. So, we need to take two for loops to insert one array, all the elements of one array into another array. Right? What is the use of a first for loop means? to shift all the elements of a first array and what is the use of a second for loop means right insertion of all the elements of second array into first array ok. So, this is inserting elements into array either single element or a set of elements hope you will enjoy this video right for more videos please subscribe to Naresh IT channel thank you all.